Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadox the Born Bob Bell for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update from the Jersey Summerland. Now this is a extension on our first video on this project. It's a brand new 2022 roller coaster. It's confirmed to be a coaster now. Um, and that is because from Coaster Club Denmark, we got some photos. You can look at it online. I've got a photo to share with you. So big credit goes to Coastal Club Denmark for this photo of the construction site. Uh, from the construction fence on site. But you can go and check out the rest of the photos on Coastal Club Denmark. Go and follow them on uh, on social media. And you basically we're going to show you guys the image on the construction fence. And we're going to share with you what's been going on on site. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in and your video suggestions. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. These questions are very important. They are for our subscriber Q&A when we hit 2,000 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer every day, guys. Please keep you know, sharing the channel around. Keep getting this channel to 2,000 subscribers. And for now, guys, let's get into another video. So just before we get started, massive shout out goes to Thrill Seeker and Crash Bandicoot Fan 98. Massive shout out to you. I keep forgetting to put it in, but now it's finally in. Your shout out is in. Enjoy it. Revel in it. And let's get into this video. So this photo from the construction fence right here on your screen right now. According to Coastal Club Denmark, massive credit goes to them for this image on the construction fence. It is, of course, excavation started. Area will open again in 2022. Thank you for your understanding. The Dino Inc. team. And there's another fence image on your screen now. Fandabidozi of Dinosaur Land. So it looks like that could potentially be the name for this new mini area that's set to open. Now, the people from Coastal Club Denmark were at the park recently, uh, as recently as yesterday. And uh, basically, we've got some images. Now, these images... Um, on their social media basically shows footers on site as well as the overall site being uh, boarded up That is of course confirmation. It is the jungle safari site. I said it could be in the last video It's definitely confirmed to be jungle safari the former um, You know family boat ride from Matt rides and of course the kiddie area of the water park has also been closed So it's opened up a bit more space in the area now the footers, you can have a look on social media for these images, but the footers looks very much like Mac Ride. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be um, basically looking into a couple of different Mac coaster types that I think they could do. Now, of course, there's a massive debate in the industry that... Um, you know, the Jules Summerland aren't exactly the most thrilling park. However, they are one of the parks, one of the many only parks in Denmark to go for the thrill market and to go for the extreme thrill market. Now, of course, the most extreme coaster is Pyrotem, which is their Intamin Megalite coaster. That, of course, you know, hasn't been... Um, that you know, that, there hasn't been an extreme coaster at the park since 2008. You know, that's a, that's a, very, that's a very long time. Um... And I think that an extreme coaster, in my opinion, is what's needed. I hope it's not like a general max spinning coaster. Even though a spinning coaster is what the part needs, I'm going to go with one of the types in a minute. But I would much rather go with something more thrilling. So, and especially with the site they've got to work with, especially if you add the kiddie area of the water park involved as well. You, you, you've got a massive, massive site. Of course, from the name on the fence, Dinosaur Land, we've pretty much got an idea of what the, like the area is going to be called, like the new area is going to be called for that you know area. So I'm guessing maybe the... Obviously, the Jungle Safari is in the Africa Land section of the park, so maybe Africa Land gets all rethemed and the other rides in the area get rethemed to dinosaurs as well over the closed season this year, so maybe that's a possible opportunity. Uh, but I've got two types of Mac Coaster, along with a bonus type that I think it could be. One is a Mac Launch, multi-launch, and the other is uh, a Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster, and my bonus type is a Mac Big Dipper. Now... Looking at these types of coasters, obviously multi-launch, extreme spinner, and big dipper. What do all three have in common? They're extreme, which is you know it'll be the most it'll be the most thrilling coaster in Denmark, let alone just the Summerland theme park. 
they've both they've all, all three have got you know possibilities of inversions so if the part maybe didn't want to go with inversions they don't have to put inversions on these but it could still be an extra coaster um, and also they are very very thrilling they are extreme coasters they're very very thrilling so you know the fact they haven't got any there's a possibility of no inversions or they may have choose to have an inversion and it'll be the first inversion you know in the just Summerland history there's a real possibility with that and going through all the three different types so fitting that criteria then most thrilling coaster in the park and possibility of inversions for the first time in park history now Looking at all three different types specifically, the extreme spinner, they haven't got a spinning coaster at the park. I think it would be a very nice fit for the park. I think it would be a, a lovely uh, addition to the park, especially for the thrill seekers. Uh, and I think it would suit the area very, very nicely. Of course, with the whole dinosaur land theme, they could do some nice spinning elements while you're going around all the, um, you know, dinosaur figurines, I guess, around the site. Um... Looking at the Matt Big Dipper, the bonus option, uh, it's a different, it is a sit down looper. In case you don't have any inversions, it is just a sit down coaster like Pirate 10 is, which is the Intamin Megalite. But it's a very different style seating arrangement to your usual De Deux Summerland Extreme Thrilling Coaster. So, again, looking at a different style seating arrangement, which is going to be very, very unique for Denmark and also very unique for the park. However, I choose that as my bonus option with the other two because I think that. Uh, the Big Dipper is not the most thrilling out of the three. So speaking of the other option then, and you know what? As well as the Extreme Spinner being a very likely option, I could also see this as being a very likely option. And that is a Mac launch or multi-launch coaster. Now whether that be a shuttle coaster with the half pipe and the you know multiple launches to get up the next element, uh, the other side of the half pipe. Um... Whether that be a full circuit multi-launch or single launch coaster. So you're looking at the multi-launchers and you're looking at something like uh, Helix at Leesburg. Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And you're looking at different coasters like that. I potentially think this could be the most thrill This is definitely going to be the most thrilling coaster in Denmark. And I think it could be the most thrilling coaster in Europe. And I think that with this opening in 2022. And of course Park Asterix have now pushed their Intamin launch coaster back to 2023. Obviously, that puts added pressure on Park Asterix to create a multi-launch coaster that's great for Europe. So, I really have an interesting feeling about this. And I think that De Jure Summon could be now the bar setter for, you know, for the rest of Europe and potentially Park Asterix next, uh, the following year as well. So, I think that that could be a potential option. Extreme Spinner, again, you're looking at, uh, obviously, Silver Dollar City with the prototype Time Traveller in 2018. Uh, of course, they brought it. They're bringing in Pops Under Pan's new one, codenamed Time Traveler, used to be known as Robo Spinner. That's coming in in 2021. We know construction's well underway with that. So, I think if they go with the extra spinner, I think Plops Under Pan's will be the inspiration behind the Just Summerlands one for 2022. And I think that Plops Under Pan will be the bar setter, like this Matt Lordy launch. They decided to go with that. That will be the bar setter for the Intamin one going to Park Asterix the following year. But. I have a real, real feeling and a real gut feeling that, you know, I th I really do think that De Jure Sunland are going to be one of the parks to watch, whatever they pick. Uh, so, basically, to summarise this video and summarise what we took from the recent imagery, basically, the uh, recent footage from Coast Club Denmark's photos online, you can go and have a look at them. Again, you know, credit... To the, for the construction fence images to Coastal Club Denmark, they're brilliant. Uh, they, just, they post some incredible stuff online. Um, so there, you know, from the photos we saw, it's going to be Mac from the footers that we saw. Um, so from the footers, we know it's Mac. Um, and that pretty much, you know, gives us an inkling of what coast we could see. Obviously, spinning coast is what the park's missing. A, a, a thrilling launch coaster and extreme launch coaster is what the park's missing uh, a different style seating arrangement of sit down coasters or sit down loopers again something that the park's missing and i think the just someone will be if they are not already the thrill capital of denmark with this coaster so 
I think there's real potential with this. I hope you guys think the same and feel the same as well. Uh, so for now, guys, thank you very, very much. Please like, comment, subscribe for more content like this, for more theme park content. Let's get this channel to 2,000 subscribers. You know, please promote this channel. Tell the people of the world that we have a separate interview series talking to celebrities called Chow Chat. Tell them that our most viewed video last year, that was introduced last year, is 4,000, like just over 4,000 thousand views you know that's a lot of views and uh, we've got loads of videos on three thousand views two thousand views nearly one thousand uh, over one thousand views and nearly two thousand views nearly one thousand views there's a lot of videos that are well over the 500 view mark which is wicked absolutely wicked um you know and i think that there's a real potential here uh, for this channel to go a long, long way. And I really want this channel to go a long, long way. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. You can subscribe to my second channel about football and basketball. That's in the description as always now. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep on the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.